Hello there, Pathfinders. Uh, I want to welcome you to the, the third stage of uh, my uh, computer honor for the Pathfinders. And this one has to do with uh, rewritable, writable, non-rewritable kind of storage devices. So let's bring up that page. Let's see here. Here we go. Stage three of computers. Explain the differences between read only, write once, and write rewrite media. Read only, read only media is prepared at the factory and cannot be altered by the consumer. The most prevalent example of read only memory today are the CD ROMs. I don't think today in the year 2023, we really have uh, read-only CDs going out. Media has extended way past that. But in the old days, 20 years ago, maybe 30 years ago, you would get all kinds of advertisement on CDs. Um, and those CDs were only good for one thing, and that was for to get you information and you couldn't write back to them. They were called read-only CDs. The right one CDs media is a blank when purchased and is written by the consumer, which is you, the consumer. Once it is written to, the data on it cannot be changed. An example would be CDRs or CDRs. These are um, indicating that they can only be written once and then you can read them. So it was great for backups. So if you had a, a bunch of information that you wanted to uh, store and uh, you're going to read it back like a library of documents and you're not going to alter it it's pretty secure that if you put it on one of those discs uh, you're not going to be able to alter it you're going to have the same one so that was a technology we used to have i don't believe we're still running it write rewrite write rewrite media can be written erased rewritten by end users an example of a cd re read and write this type of media is generally more expensive than a cd or cdr in more modern times the flash drives have taken a place of standard write read media hmm this media is still viable you can still buy cds to write to you can store your music on it and have like music cds you can still do a lot of things but the problem we run into is our cell phones are so um let me switch back for a second, then I'll come back here so you can see my face, okay? So we're going to say stop sharing. Okay. The problem is, is that CDs now being used is different than what we did 20, 30 years ago. Today, we have thumb drives, we have flashes, we have cell phones, we have Google drives, we have unbelievable amount of ways of storing our media. In those days, when we didn't have the internet and we didn't have the availability of flash drives storing some massive information, we would back up on this rewritable CDs and we could reuse those CDs because of the capacity. I think they were around 600 megabytes in size. They were not very large. DVDs came in after them and they were a lot higher in capacity. So... I hope to show you that at the very end of this honor, when I show you the computer, that I can show you that media. The problem is, is that all of the parts I want to show you, since I'm retired and I'm a master guide ah, of years, some of this information is not available to me. But as I get it, I will show it, and I hope you uh, enjoy. So let's go back to our sharing screen, okay, which was going into the next section which is gonna talk about different things about the CD. CD compact disc formats. With the rise of personal computers and other commercial technology, various compact disc formats branched off to store data. Sony and Philips created a specific specification for these CD versions called rainbow books. Due to the various colors on the book binding, they define each product format. The Red Book outlines the specific for the standard CD. 
I'm going to tell you guys, I never heard of Red Book before this honor. I got 40 years, 40 plus years in software development in the field of computers. So I guess everything, squeak, some things can squeak by us, you know, old timers. CD read only memory came out in 1985. And this information I'm listening to you is in my honor website. Feel free to go in there and look at it and take some notes because uh, I don't expect you to remember all this stuff. This is uh, pretty much history for me. CD read only memory, you know, CD interactive, CD rewritables, well, those were popular. CD recordables, yes. CD-ROM extended architecture. Well, you know what? I don't think I got there. But photo CDs, that was a very popular. I probably have hundreds of photo CDs. And a lot of those are of the Sabbath school classes I taught up in uh, Sun City with my wife over 20 years. All the pictures that we took of the church were stored on photo CDs that came from the store. You take your roll of film in and they develop your film for you and it comes back in a nice clean CD of all those pictures. Really nice, really good way to put it in the library. Uh, the photo CD is designated by Kodak. The photo CD was created to express the purpose of storing photographies in a digital format that could be accessed and edited on a computer. It was launched in 1992 and was originally designed to hold 100 high-quality images. It followed the Big Book standard. And the video CD, which is the next one, has to do with, let me see here. I think it has to do with movies, to tell you the truth of the video. I don't think there's a whole lot of difference. I think there's terminology between these two. The future of compact disc as other technology first, the CT has been seen as a steady de decline in use, particularly during the early 2010s. Reason, faster devices, faster medias, DV, Blu-ray, I put down internet, USB, thumb drives, optical drives, you know, virtual drives. Technology is, is so far past the CD. So you probably won't have CDs too much since they don't really sell them now, unless you get a, a, a special device and a special device, let me show it to you. This is a, I carry this around so I can read all my old CDs, but you can get it for like 50 bucks on Amazon. You can get CD, you can get, uh, I think I have a floppy drive reader here somewhere too, I'm looking for. But as you can see, it has a USB cord and when you plug that into your notebook, it uh, um, gives you a CD. I have a theory, being a developer of software and hardware, that I could take this second device, which is my CD drive, I drive, and I think it's a DVD CD. It'll, it'll play movies too. Um, and take this standard USB old style now they call it port converted to a c usb and i bet you i could probably play this on my phone i haven't tried that yet uh, time just doesn't permit but that is an external device that we're going to cover a little bit later and it's a cd dvd player and that is seems to be where we're at in today's world okay and can you continue with the end of this honor we have here dvds and blu-rays okay let's do this dvds is a type of optical disc used for data storage and as a platform for multimedia it's the most prominent commercial application for playing back recorded motion pictures and television programs since the designation of digital video discs, though read-only recordable and even erasable or rewritable versions can be used on personal computers to store large quantities of almost any kind of data, hence the digital versatile disc. And Blu-ray, which I unfortunately have not had 
the uh, honor to spend much time with the just terminology it states here in the notes with this honor. The name of blue ray refers to a blue laser. I don't think it means blue color laser. A blue laser, which is actually a violet laser. I think it means the light used to read the disk, which allows information to be stored at a greater density than if possible with a longer wavelength ray laser used for DVDs, which was, that's, that, I didn't know that. I mean, that, that's good. So these are all your different types of physical, let me stop this again, physical devices like this, you know, or thumb drives like this. Let's see here. I think this. Can you believe these thumb drives used to be 250 megabytes, 500 megabytes. Now it's not uncommon to find eight meg eight gigabyte drives, 1632. Unbelievable the capacity of these compared to the capacity of a CD, you know? CDs are like, I think, 600, they said, megabytes. And maybe some special, you know, formatting. They get different. And you store them in, in big old giant containers like this, you know? I probably have thousands of CDs, thousands of floppies, thousands, I don't know, thousands of flash drives. Oh, my goodness. Those things are a They store a lot. But. These are the type of rewritable devices that we have available in computers. So this should conclude stage three of me talking about all these devices and let us get on to stage four so we can get done with this honor. And maybe I can do that demo at the end of the honor and take a computer apart and show you the different parts. God bless you. See you shortly, Mr. D.